So looking at the front of the box, we can see some beautiful artwork of the Arcanaut frigate itself. And if we just zoom in a little, we can see how awesome it looks. I love all the rivets that are on the uh, design of the frigate there. Um, I love the fact that it's also got uh, a pilot. Uh, it looks like a, he's a watch out at the top there. And there's also another, I believe, on the other side of the frigate. But we'll just turn it to the other side. And then we can see we've got the end rigger i believe down there you can see some of the front detail of the frigate there in closer detail i think this just looks so cool guys such an awesome design i'm just loving the look of these new dwarves so that's taking a look around the box. What we'll do now, guys, is we'll just uh, unbox it and we'll have a look at the instruction manual and the sprues inside. Okay, so let's take a look at the instruction manual first of all. We'll just have a look at how it goes together. I love these new uh, 3D rendered instruction manuals. It makes putting the kits together so much uh, simpler than the older black and white manuals that wasn't done uh, via 3D printing. So it's much better. Uh, just flick through a little more and we're getting to the end. And there we can see it's fully built there looks absolutely awesome and on the back is a really handy color guide to get all those colors uh, looking just like they should do with a screamer pink base null null shade layer pink horror and then a uh, layer of shabti bone i think that's for the rivets but that looks really cool Okay guys, uh, so uh, we're going to have a look at the sprues now. Okay guys, so we'll take a look at sprue uh, number one. And as we can see, we've got some really big parts for the frigate itself. And if I can just zoom in and show you some of the awesome detail on these panels. All the rivet work on this uh, side of the frigate looks absolutely awesome guys. It really does. And we've got some really lovely decking pattern there on the deck of the frigate a nice fan there I'll just zoom out so we can see a bit more of the sprue got a, a valve there some really really lovely lovely sculpting and design work there really can't wait to put this together guys so that's the first sprue and then we've got the second and last sprue and we can see we've got some of those bubble um, dome designs for the top of the frigate there and we've got some of the pilot details there and then we've got the uh, steering wheel of the frigate itself Wow, look at look at the detail on that part there, guys. Some really intricate detail there. Uh, but what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to build the frigate off camera. And then when it's all built, we'll come back and we'll have a look like uh, what it looks like all built. Okay guys, so we're back with a completed airship and how fantastic does it look guys? From the big round balloon like metallic spheres on the top of the airship to the blades at the sides, the sky hook weapon at the front, 
the dwarves that are actually in there I mean let's take you a little closer into the details of the airship as it turns around now this has been primed white uh, specifically just for this uh, video I might uh, reprime it black uh, so I can start with the metallic work first of all I'll see really um, metallics go over black better but um, if you're airbrushing it's not so much of an issue but we'll see there but as I say the actual airship itself the uh, Arcronaut frigate as it's known is absolutely stunning and it's got absolute bags of detail guys now if I was going to review it I'd give it a 10 out of 10 but unfortunately I've got to knock a few marks off one of the marks have got to be knocked away from the fact that there's no decals I absolutely love decals and I love it when a kit comes with a new decal sheet and there's no decals for this kit at all so that's a shame I mean some nice dwarf ruins would have looked brilliant along the front of the uh, airship there so uh, my mark gets taken away for that and also this horrible horrible design for the uh, stem of the base it just doesn't fit inside the um, the airship very well it just about balances and I'm gonna have to glue it in to be honest which is a nightmare if you want to actually take it out and store it in a bag because then you've got to not only fit the size of the sky ship but you've got to fit the size of the base as well which is absolutely huge but um, that's a point taken off so it gets a solid 8 out of 10 if I was going to review this as a kit as I say the kit itself I can't knock it at all guys it is absolutely gorgeous it really is but I mean let me know what you think in the comments field down below please let me know what you think of this uh, new airship and also I'd like to say a huge thank you once again to my YouTube channel sponsors Goblin Gaming so check the description box down below and you'll find their direct link to the web store there so thank you for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next video